Join us for the Durango to Silverton's Winter Photo Special 2023, celebrating 50 years ago in the snow. A classic Rio Grande Herald looks down from a building on West College Drive in the equally classic town of Durango, Colorado. From its beginnings in 1880 when it was organized by the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad to today in the 21st century, Durango has remained a railroad town. The DNRG chose this spot in the Animas Valley for a yard and depot during the building of their San Juan extension to tap the rich mines of Silverton, deep in the mountains to the north. The opening of roads for the coming automobiles and the closing of the mines in Silverton should have spelled the end of the railroad here, but that twisting narrow gauge line along the Animas River had a wealth all its own, the scenery. And you can only get there by rail. Enter the Durango to Silverton Railroad, which carries on the tradition of the DNRGW, giving tourists a train ride like no other. This winter excursion in February of 2023 is for photographers who want to capture the railroad in locations not usually accessible. For this year's event, the Durango to Silverton presented a time capsule showing how the engine and passenger consist would have looked in the 1970s, with K-28 number 476 pulling coaches turned around with the seats facing backwards as they would have been at that time. The 476 is sporting a diamond stack to match the period, something the old Mikado hasn't worn since the early 1980s. The engine was converted from coal to oil in 2022, one departure from tradition, but the old Alco still put on a fantastic show in the hands of an excellent crew. We will present the photo runbys as they were shot with minimal narration so you can enjoy the sight and sound of classic Rio Grande narrow gauge action. Enjoy!
The historic Tacoma Power Plant sits across the Animas River from the railroad. It once powered mines in the San Juan Mountains. A classic K-36 powers the Cascade Winter Train, and we catch it briefly as it heads through Tacoma. After meeting the Cascade Winter Train at Tacoma, we continue north for a photo run by along the Animas River. A photo line has formed in the snow near milepost 478. After turning the train at Cascade Canyon, the photographer special backs toward milepost 481 for a couple of runbys. The railroad north of here to Silverton is closed during the winter months.
As we cross High Bridge, the Animas River begins to drop into a narrow canyon far below the railroad. In 1765, Spanish explorers called it the Rio de las Animas, which in English is River of Souls. The river is both scenic and somewhat frightening when seen from the railroad's narrow shelf high above the deep gorge. But keep in mind, trains have been making this trip for over 140 years. We will be stopping for another series of photo runbys at this location high above the river, known as Horseshoe Curve, the centerpiece for the Durango to Silverton. With the runbys completed, the crew poses for photographers. With the 1970s being the theme for this excursion, a few participants dressed up for the occasion. 
They were a little cold, wet, and groovy. The next day, we are headed back towards the Animas River Canyon, making a few photo stops along the way. We will stop at Horseshoe Curve for a couple more run bys, this time with the train pointing north. After shooting at Horseshoe Curve, we back toward the siding at Rockwood to meet the Cascades Winter Train. It is powered by K36 number 481, the only remaining coal-fired engine in operation on the Durango to Silverton.
With a passenger train out of the way, we are soon back on the main line, headed north. After making a water stop at Tank Creek, our train continues north to the next photo run by location. Once again, the train has been turned at Cascade Canyon, and we back to some of the previous day's run-by locations, taking advantage of the clearer skies. What a difference a day makes! A torpedo has been placed on the track for this run by. Strapped to the railhead, torpedoes were used as early warning devices for train crews.
Our final run by is the obligatory shot at Horseshoe Curve. It has been 140 years since the rails of the Silverton branch were first spiked down by the Rio Grande. Many things have come and gone since then, but the rails remain, and steam whistles still echo off the rugged cliff faces of the San Juan Mountains. To the men and women of the Durango and Silverton, a heartfelt thanks. And as always, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>